Okay guys, <clears throat> I'm kind of really tired. I'm actually really sleepy. I haven't slept, you know, last night or I don't think I slept the night before. But that's not the point. I'm here to talk about UT, UK TV now and the drama with that thing. So first of all, if you're new to this thing and you're wondering what is UK TV now, I'm going to, I'm actually on their website now for all those persons who don't know what it really is about. UK TV now is a popular Kodi add-on that allows you or used to allow you to actually watch your live IPTV. I was going to cover this add-on, but guess what guys, it doesn't work anymore. And why I'm making this video is to tell you the truth about it. Yes, I feel like I'm indebted to tell you guys the truth about what's going on and what they're saying. I don't like lies and I think they're lying. And I'm going to give you my reasons why I think they're lying because I have proof. All right. First of all, as I think we've covered what UK TV now is basically. Most persons who are, who are not aware of it, it's just an add-on that allows you to watch live streaming TV channels on your Kodi device and your Android device. But what happened recently is, and I'm going to bring up my, my Kodi here and show you what happens when you click on it, um, it doesn't work. All right, you see this arrow, UK TV no arrow, and no matter what you do, it work because it's been disabled. Why has it been disabled, you wonder? All right, let's, so let's go to what they say and then I'm going to give you my perspective on it. So let's go to their Facebook page. All right, been reading through their posts and find out what they've said. They're saying, ah, la, 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 la. Let's scroll up through some of this. I would say garbage because it is garbage. Um, I think they're lying. All right. <clears throat> to inform you all that we are not providing any Kodi add-on officially. This third-party Kodi add-on, um, Kodi add-ons are putting high loads on our servers, which is causing lagging issues. We are due to make our app more secure, and we're in touch with co the Kodi community to take. Um, appropriate action against those unauthorized add-ons. All Kodi add-ons will be banned soon. Wow. Okay, that's what they said. Mm -hmm. And that was December the 28th. That's what they said. So let's see what happened. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Going now. This is January the 4th, um, 9.39 a.m. I guess there are some early risers. Um... They are getting it ready for fire stick that has nothing to do with us Cody people. All right, let's continue up. What are they saying? Update. This is to inform you all that we are protected. Yes, they are protected. That means they are getting rid of guys like me and you who are watching that we are infringing on their IPTV links really really no anyways to stop ax Cody access we're still working to make it harder we are having high loads from Cody which are causing lag issues there again with this lag issue crap all right I'm going to tell you why I know they're lying all right, they're talking about Android Fire Stick and whatnot. If you go on the the developer of the 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 UK TV no add-on, the he um that's Metal Kettle, cool guy. He they're talking. There's even he has this embed of this other YouTuber explaining why it's going down, basically regurgitating what they said, saying that it's causing lag issues. We Cody has gotten too popular, and because it's too popular, it's basically drawing down their servers, are pulling too much bandwidth, and all of those good stuff. So they contacted the developer of the add-on, which is Metal Kettle, and asked him to help them to pull it down and he believed them so he's actually doing that so therefore that it's no longer available for Cody all right so that's what's been going on so far guys if you can tell I'm a little bit stressed I love my IPTV
pretty upset about it and you should too but what happened was when i went and i downloaded the 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 uk tv you now android app which you can get on their website not promoting it just telling you you can get on their thing once you click on your download that's what it's going to bring you android devices and all kind of stuff once you 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 don't know the android device um the app which i will review to show you what i'm talking about you find out that it is filled with with ads i mean when i say ads i mean ads i know developers must eat but jesus christ man they must have been starving because they're eating oh lord they're eating every second you click on this thing it's ads 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 it's like whoa seriously and I know, and my theory, because I do write code for those who don't know, Coding Solutions, that's my channel. You can look it up. <laughs> Anyways, that's a promo. But seriously, when the, 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 what you find out is that they have put so much ads in the, uh, the Android app application that sometimes it even crashes due to the, um, the frequency of pop-up ads, scroll ads, every 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 ad you can actually come across they put it in the android devices i don't have a problem that they're trying to eat but don't lie about it don't say Kodi users are the ones sucking and draining your servers iptv based on what i know is it doesn't ha it doesn't really matter how many users what they're trying to do is get the users to get their android um application that they can get paid i'm going to say it again for those who didn't hear or listen i missed you they are trying to get paid there's nothing wrong with getting paid but just don't lie about it just be honest just don't say code your users are the reason why it doesn't work say say code has made it popular and it's now so popular we'd rather have you guys go to your android um application where you can actually see our ads and we can get paid it's very difficult to run a co an, an ad on Kodi because Kodi wasn't built for that xbmc was not built for you to run ads so therefore you will not want your your uh, your application to be running on Cody just be honest that's the reason why don't tell us some crap that oh it's the all of that that that, that popularity of Cody that's sucking your servers dry and making the app lag and all of that crap so when you open it to fire stick users won't it be popular won't it draw down on your servers as well seriously is only Cody that is drawing down on your servers and making it lag lies and that's why I'm making a video this this tired <laughs> because I want you guys to know the truth. Yeah, come on, um, UK TV now, sue me. Yeah, sue me. Yeah, you can try. You won't get anything anyway. I have a paper clip and some bubble gum. You can get those. <laughs> but seriously, don't lie. I know developers need to get paid guys there's nothing wrong with developers getting paid but don't lie don't tell a lie on such a wonderful software as xbmc Cody. the users will not suck your servers dry if they were sucking your servers dry they would suck your servers dry when they're on their android devices come on we know it anybody who codes know this so it's just because you want to show your app your ads and get paid and there's nothing wrong with getting paid but don't lie about it guys metal kettle i have no hate for this guy this guy makes some really wonderful add-ons and i will not say anything bad about him i'm just saying ah <sighs> I'm just saying. And that's the real reason, guys, your UK TV add-on doesn't work. Just bringing in the truth. And thanks, guys, for all those who subscribe. And those who haven't subscribed, yeah, this is what I plan to do. When I see the lies, blatantly, I'll call them out. So, subscribe. And thank you, guys, for watching. I don't think I'll even make this any prettier. I'm just telling the truth. All right.